Alright, today we're going to do a little bit of experimenting on this 8020B. This one you may remember is actually the one that is the donor meter that no longer has a chip in it. And I want to do an experiment because if you remember from the cheap multimeter uh, tear down, look through, whatever you want to call it, I have a chip that has the same footprint as the socket on here and I would like to try to transplant it onto this meter and see what it does it may work it may not I think it would be a worthwhile thing to experiment with just to see just to kind of learn from it a little bit um, right now I've got it in PCB vice and what I'm gonna do is actually wick some of this old solder off of it because I want it to be as clean as possible for what my idea is for putting it into this meter because I actually want to keep the socket in place on here so we're gonna do a little bit of experimenting with some jumper wires and things like that so I'm gonna get to work on this and then we'll see how it goes Alright, so we've, we've got everything wicked off, and you can see that the footprint fits really, really well on the socket. But those pins, whoops, those pins are missing. So, the idea, and this is going to take a lot of patience, is that we're going to use this fine little wire, which I actually pulled off of a transformer, to make a bunch of little jumpers that are going to insert into the legs and then they'll be soldered onto the pin onto the solder points here so first thing we'll do to get started is we actually have to strip the lacquer insulation off of this wire and the way I'm going to do that is to just take a scotch bright pad and fold it over it and run it through a few times and that should knock it all off and that'll give us a nice bare copper wire that'll make good contact on both points so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll show you the next step after that. Alright, so I'm going to kind of go over my method that I'm using to actually get these wires into it. Uh, I have already taken and stripped it with the Scotch-Brite. Uh, that was pretty simple. You just kind of fold and pull. And you can see a difference in the copper. It's actually a really lighter shinier color than it was before it was a little bit darker but all I'm doing is I'm actually taking my tweezers and I'm only grabbing a little tiny bit whenever I'm ready just a little tiny bit so that that tip of that wire will stay nice and stiff to be able to go into that slot but I'm actually lining it up in the slot first and I'm doing this under a magnifying glass because it makes it easier on me and I'm kind of I'm actually touching the socket with the tweezers and then I'm backing off just a little bit and then I'm grabbing the wire and pushing it in and I'll push it in twice to make sure that I get a good grab on it and it's just a little slight tug to make sure that it is actually holding on in there and then I'll come back and I'll snap off about a half inch of wire, maybe a little bit under that, because we're not going to need much. The, the reason that I'm actually going that long is because when we set this chip on here, we'll be able to fold these over one at a time and solder, and then we'll snip off the excess. But that looks like that's going to actually work out really well. So I'll get these finished up and then I'll bring y'all back. Alright, so we've got all those jumper wires placed and I've actually kind of pulled these out a little bit because my plan is to slip the chip in there, it's actually already in there. 
and then I'm just going to start folding them over and one at a time, solder them. All right, so it's not the hottest soldering job I've ever done. Come on, camera. Help me out here, buddy. But it does look like all the jumpers tied in really well. So we'll reassemble this thing and see if we get anything on it. Um, I do expect that we will get uh, something on the display. Um, whether that's going to be anything accurate or whether it's just going to be a few little segments, there's no telling. Um, I do think that we will get something that will be coherent that will actually seem like it's a multimeter reading because a lot of companies use a almost clone of the 8020B's chips. That was actually a big thing with Fluke. Fluke is actually a kind of sue happy company, I find. Any little thing on there that could be a, the littlest bit of copyright infringement, and they are jumping on it. Now, let's see, let's get this back together and we'll talk about it some more. Well, looks like we did all that for nothing. Do here. Let's use the EEV blog meter. and see what we can track down. Uh -huh.
don't think that I have the pin out on Floofy one. That might not even make us a huge difference, but I do believe that we have a ground pin possibly here. Alright, so all in all, replacing a chip in an 8020B with just a generic, cheap, multimeter chip is a total failure. So anybody who was thinking about trying it, I wouldn't waste my time. Still think it was a fun little experiment though. Um, good soldering practice and also, I think it's a neat little technique, the way that we kind of use the little jumpers in there. That was the first time I've ever done a lot of jumper type soldering and I think it came out really well um, I'm gonna try to remove it now and I'm really really hoping that I didn't actually solder into the socket it does actually feel like it soldered into the socket so we will break out with the heat gun and let's get to removing this thing Alright guys, just to wrap this video up, um, I really don't think that it was the greatest idea to try to do this little jumper wire into this socket thing. So we may in the future actually remove the socket and solder the chip directly to the PCB. Um, I think that before we do that we may actually try to tackle another 8020B repair, probably the button repair. And there will be a couple ways we'll go about that. We may end up using this donor meter to actually swap a button out or we may just try to get that button working uh, we'll look at it whenever we get to it but thanks for watching